Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha. I'm an intuitive and a vessel for spirit. Um, so this is a video um, or a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will leave your channeled songs down below. And um, if you watch my previous Zodiac videos, you know I start off with channel messages and then we move on to your uh, tarot. So um, disclaimer, um, I set the intentions for my readings that they um, give the messages um, for the ones who need them the most. And um, so if something doesn't resonate, um, then this just wasn't your message. Um, don't try to make it fit. It's uh, just how, you know, I like spirit to work for with me. Um, and um, yeah, so that's that. I, I'm sorry if I'm a little drained. Um, the last reading I did was very draining. <laughs> Not in a like bad way, but it was a lot of energy. Um, that was Taurus's, I think. Um, so yeah, so let's get into your um, channel messages. So the number sequence I channeled for you guys was 888, which the number eight is all about um, stability. It's about power, um, leadership. Yeah. Um, I saw, I kept seeing green tourmaline. So I don't know if you work with green tourmaline or crystal or um, if that would be beneficial for you. Look up the meanings for that. Um, also look up the meaning of the color green. Um, I kept hearing letting go. There's something that, um, like I literally kept hearing it and then I heard outcome. So I'm assuming um, letting go of some sort of outcome. I heard lead. Um, I heard misunderstood. I also kept hearing misunderstood. Um, missed opportunity. And I saw um, green and blue mixing together, um, kind of like an aura. Um, so when, uh, when an aura color comes through as like murky or cloudy, um, it means that it's like, it's exactly that it's clouded. It's maybe blocked. Um, so there's a mixture here of the heart and the, the throat, um, having some sort of like blockage or stagnancy in those areas. So, um, I don't know if you are, um, holding back communication or um, it's very heart driven. It's like there's something you want to say, but you you aren't. Um, so we'll get into that. And I also saw lightning. So lightning for me is a symbol of a shift. Um, I'm seeing five, five, five. So five for me is like the tower. It's a shift. The tower is not always bad. Um, it's never bad, actually. The tower is just a an inevitable shift or like a destined shift. Um, so let's get into your cards because it's starting to make sense now. Um, okay. So you got partnership, teamwork will give you a better result, find trustworthy people to partner with and build up a talented support team. Healer, you have powerful healing gifts, have faith in your abilities and stay true. Wow. Stay true to your path as a healer. I'm stuttering over here. Uh, passion, do what excites you, get fired up about your life, increase your energy levels. And then we got the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email, hovering, and hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. And then for your tarot, Got the Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups, Justice, and Death. And then you got Be Assertive, No. And for this card, I asked for clarification and got the moon, clarifying the no card. So we'll get into that. And if you believe, 
so my lovely Aries, um, there's somebody, <laughs> um, some sort of transformation here in some sort of connection. This could be somebody coming back or it could be somebody new that you're just starting to speak to. Um, but you got the death card and the phoenix, both symbolizing transformation. And you got the card, the hammer, which is talking about sabotage and rebuilding. Um, so I'm picking the energy that I'm getting is that this is something that never got off the ground. So this is somebody that you may have known for a long time or, or talked to before and you guys like fell off or something with the Eight of Cups here. Some sort of disappointing situation um, or disappointing outcome. And um, it was it was what you wanted. Like you wanted this with, with the Ten of Cups here. And you're getting that justice. Like you're getting justice um, and that's whatever you want it to be. So... If you want this person that's, um, that you're, you know, thinking of as I'm talking, then you're going to get that. You're going to get that, um, next step. Like you're going to get another opportunity is what I should say. That's what I feel for you. I feel like you're going to get another opportunity and, um, <clears throat> I'm having trouble talking with you because I feel like you have that opportunity or something and you're just not taking it or like when you do have the opportunity you um if you've gotten it already or like you're talking to this person you're stumbling over your words you're you know not confident in yourself you're struggling to get across how you actually feel and um spirit saying like be assertive like be honest be upfront what do you want like say what you want say your intentions um with the note card here clarified by the moon this is playing into um, the let go of the outcome. So have the outcome that you desire uh, in mind, of course, but, you know, don't have such a hold, a hold on it um, that you, you know, mess it up, if that makes sense. Because if you're like obsessing over something like this has to happen, I want this to happen, like I got to make this happen or how can I make this happen or like kind of making things harder than they have to be is what I'm getting like like you might be um being like to this person you might be acting cold but really you're like burning up for them like you really want them um it's like just be who you are and be straight up is what I'm getting like there's no need to play games even though you're not trying to play games I think it's because you, you just you really you know admire this person and you really see something in this person um Spirit saying you are getting that opportunity. So don't sabotage it. Just allow. Get to know this person. Take a step back and just be like, look, I know I like this person. That's all I know. I, I have no control over, you know, how this goes from here or how this ends up. Like, um, all I know is that I like them and I want to get to know them. So do that. Yeah. Believe in yourself. <laughs> have some confidence here i feel like you were just like stumbling over yourself it's really it's cute though i feel like i'm talking to like a masculine energy right now um yeah but you also got talking here which says interested and conversing more and with the two transformation cards the giving and receiving affection and falling in love rebuilding like you're getting an opportunity here and it, it's like even if you are in the midst of this opportunity and you guys are talking, it's like, just relax, let it flow, let it flow, get to know this person while still focusing on what you got to focus on. Like, don't get, you know, too wrapped up um, in another, but um, be assertive, be assertive. This is definitely something that you've been wanting for a while or have maybe come to the realization that you, you really want this. Um... Why is that here? I feel like spirit wants you to focus more on, um, this might be somebody you work with. Um, focus more on the friendship aspect, actually getting to know this person, like just focus on being a friend, you know, like how do you treat your, your friends? You, it's like, you're, you're just yourself. That's how spirit wants you to go about this.
I'm getting that um, some of you with the healer card here, some of you might be um, have like be very in tune with your own spiritual gifts and um, you might have been waiting for this person to come back like you've been hearing that they're coming back or something like that and then they did and you're kind of like um you feel like you just know too much you you're like a few steps ahead of this person because you you knew they were coming back if does that make sense i hope that makes sense so you're you're kind of you know having to draw back even though you you kind of know what this is yeah so let me pull a few more cards. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What else do you want them to know? I'm going to I'm gonna ask how this person feels about you. How does this person feel about Aries? Six of Cups. And Temperance. Wow. Let me get one more. Ooh, judgment at the bottom of the deck, too. This person is... <laughs> it's like you guys are th are both thinking the same thing, but not doing anything about it. This person thinks you are so balanced. So, um... <laughs> you don't hear that often about Aries. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I don't know, maybe you have some, like other um signs that balance you out in your chart but um you're very like <laughs> graceful i don't feel like this is funny because i don't the aries i've known that aren't you know graceful is not how i would describe them but um i feel like they just see you as so like beautiful and feminine if you're a feminine if you're not a feminine they see you as um like a pretty boy does that make sense? Like you're just very like chiseled and like attractive to them. And the six of cups in this card, she's staring at um, two people making out. So it's like she, <laughs> this person is, you know, thinking of you too in this way. I definitely feel like this is just something that has not gotten off the ground yet. This might even be somebody you were like friends with. Ace of Swords. This person wants to speak <laughs> speak their truth too. Ace of Cups at the bottom here, yeah. Yep. Ace of Cups at the bottom. They they want you. <laughs> they want you. In the same exact way. And I feel like that's the confirmation you needed to be able to be assertive going forward. Um, also with the no clarified by the moon. I meant to say this earlier. You see how um, it's like multiple people. Um, it's like an orgy actually. Um, I feel like you fear that um, this person has multiple people lined up. Or like is a player or uh, <clears throat> doesn't choose you. But you're absolutely incorrect. That's why the no is here, okay? And I mean, looking at how they view you, it's like, duh. Um, what else? This is very self-explanatory for you guys. Um, I wanna find out what this misunderstanding was about, actually. That's fine. What's this misunderstanding that came through? Ace of Cups again with the world. Knight of Cups at the bottom. I'm hearing something about a message. Um... Again, I'm hearing Miss Opportunity. This might be some sort of, for some of you, this might be like a long distance thing um, where like you were supposed to travel to each other, but you couldn't because of everything going on or something like that. Um, promises like, uh, you know, unfulfilled promises is what I'm hearing. It just wasn't the right time. That's what I'm getting. Like it just wasn't the right time. 
Nine of Cups. I feel like you guys actually, this is actually going to um, time apart, if you had time apart, is going to benefit you and your relationship because it's like you're, it, it brings more, it brings the passion back for each other. It's like, it comes back that much harder, you know, um, because you've been so like, it, it's like you guys have had nothing but the imagination of each other and what it'd be like together so now that it's like you guys are taking it to the next level it's kind of like it's like wow i feel like the energy i'm getting is like it's very um it's like a dream like you didn't expect this at all you did not expect this person to come back or um if this isn't somebody that like you were dealing with in the past you just didn't expect it this person and you to like start getting like into each other you know or for them to feel the same maybe you have um issues with like being confident and you feel like you couldn't like you feel like this person was out of your league or something but they see you as just as beyond beautiful yeah Anything else you want? Um, Aries to know. And your channeled songs really play into this. Um, Back to Where by Music Soul Child. Um, Can't Go On with Russ. And Kevin's Heart, J. Cole. Like, um, one of you might have um, screwed up in the past. Or, like, I'm just getting, like, some, like, that this connection never like you guys were never official that's like the energy i'm getting is that you guys weren't official but for some reason something got messed up like somebody um had something that kind of like distracted them from this connection or um i'm getting with this healer card that like Things had to, you guys met when you did, even if this person was with somebody else or you were with somebody else, um, because it was like the catalyst for, um, you coming into your, your abilities, your gifts for some of you. Um, and it's like, you needed that time to yourself, but like meeting this person was the catalyst for that. So it's like, everything has like a higher purpose and, um, but it's all coming together now. It's like you're getting another opportunity to see where this goes. Um, I'm going to look up. What's the outcome with this connection for Aries? The tower. Wow. Lightning. Shift. A shift. Clarify the tower for me about the outcome of this connection for Aries. I heard winning. <laughs> This feels positive, like a positive shift. I just feel like like you're like shocked that this is even happening. It's like a dream. Clarify the tower for Aries about the outcome of this connection. I just heard new beginnings. Eight of Wands, expansion, growth, it's not over. The Eight of Wands, um, so with, um, sorry, I was trying to think of that, um, this story, I, it was like a tarot story that I read before, and it's like, um, the Eight of Wands actually signify, like, you thinking the battle's over. You thinking you won the war. And then they come back, like, with the Eight of Wands. Like, they're they're back. Um, and then the Nine of Wands, you you, you are protecting yourself. Um, and you, you, got, you got away from, the, from them, from the Eight of Wands. And you're, you know, safe, but you're um, protected and whatever. Um... So the Eight of Wands, I'm picking up on this story because the Eight of Wands is like, it's not over. You thought it was over, but it's not. 
That's why I'm picking this up, that story up. So however, however you thought, some of you, this is long distance. For some of you, for sure, this is long distance. And um, you're going to have a choice to make. Um, yeah, it's like I'm just seeing all spirit will tell me about the outcome, which I think is because they want you to let go of the outcome is um, that there's going to be a shift um, in communication. Like, so I feel like you guys have not been communicating that often or what you've been communicating about isn't what matters. And there's going to be a shift in that. There's going to be a shift in um, the, the energy between you. So um, the Eight of Wands, Wands are all about fiery energy, passion, drive, um, you know, going for what you want. That's the shift here. So... And you got how many cards about transformation going on and you got the passion, <coughs> you got passion, be assertive, like go for what you want and however it ends up is how it's meant to end up. But I feel like you have this fear that they're going to slip out of your um, grip again. And um, that's not necessarily true. It's just they're back for a reason. So regardless just keep going forward and, and, you know, give your all to, or just give your best shot with this is what I'm seeing. But, um, yeah, let me see if I'm picking up on anything else. Also for some of you, um, if this is not somebody, you know, there's somebody that is coming in that is like this, like somebody that is just very, dreamy to you somebody who you know you're very passionate about you guys have a lot of passion in your connection um it's not you know like anything you've ever dealt with before and um it's your justice for your past because ten of swords um you've had a disappointing past when it comes to relationships but um this is going to be your ten of cups your justice this is your justice after um, the Ten of Swords for everything you've, you know, all the work you've done in regards to yourself and you um, willingly going down the healer's journey, the healer's path, your path. Um, so you will be rewarded with this love that you've been trying to bring into your life. Um, yeah, I see somebody who's been trying to manifest this or doing maybe spell work or some sort of potions or um something like that working with the moon cycles like you've really been um trying to bring somebody into your life that is like your person and it's coming but spirit again wants you to let go of the outcome and to just you know follow your intuition and um follow your guidance and you'll you'll know what to do um when this person shows up yeah so that's all i'm getting for aries um let me know if, how this resonated um i'll leave my info for personal readings down below and i'll see you guys next time bye